This is something somebody's either going to love or hate. Um, it's keylogging. Uh, keylogging is basically a way of spying on a computer um, so you know what activities have been going on there. Bizarrely, I know some people have actually done this. And the only reason I know is they've contacted me to translate because they bought partners in the Philippines, laptops, etc. And they put keyloggers on there to do a bit paranoid. See, this is the bizarre thing. Because there's so many people scamming, etc. You can't really call it paranoia. Um, because they just want to be 100%. At the same time, would I do it? The answer is no. Uh, it's, not, it's not the sort of thing I would do. But then again... Like I said, there's a lot of expats that have done this previously, which is why I brought it up, because I know a lot of people are a bit paranoid about being ripped off. They're also paranoid about boyfriends in the background, other expats, other foreigners, etc., where there's multi-dating going on, etc. This thing would actually log the Skype. It will log uh, pretty much everything. Let me just put it on screen. This one's fairly advanced, which is why I brought this up. Um, it's spy agent, but the main things you're gonna, let's just click through. So the first thing you got is keystrokes, mouse clicks. Um, which one's this? Ah, oh, this will be how many times you logged on to Windows, etc. Which programs are used? Screenshots. Um, timelines, files and documents, so you can see which files have been saved, etc. Um, when the computer is used, etc. Mic and webcam, uh, email activities, website activities, what websites people have been to, internet, so this is your camera, uh, via traffic, etc. And then you've got your chat, via Skype, your ICQ, Yahoo, Facebook, Google+. So all the activities that somebody would be doing on a computer that's got a keylogger would have everything logged um, and it would actually email this information to you. So as you can see, it's fairly expansive. Um, I'm not going to advise anybody to use it. I'm not going to advise anybody not to use it. That judgment's up to you. I'm not taking responsibility one way or the other. Um, my personal view on this is it's an invasion of privacy, but at the same time, I know the frustrations when somebody's paranoid that their partner's having an affair, and often if you think there's something going on, there's a good chance there is. So I can't really make um, a decision for you, um, because I'm sure if your partner found out you were using a keylogger, she would not be impressed. Um, but at the same time, Hey ho, if, if you're not sure, maybe this will be reassuring for you. I know, like I said, I know several people have done it. I haven't actually said who or ever will, um, because it would have an effect on their relationships. Um, the only reason, like I said, that, that I know is they've asked me to translate some of the text that's come back because they don't understand the language. Um, so it's up to you. And as simple as that. I'm not actually going to get into the moral high ground or anything else because half of this stuff exists because some people don't have any morals, which is why they're scamming people in the first place. So this is why all this stuff is here. You know, this is why it's on my YouTube channel because it may be something you're worried about. Um, like I said, I mean, there's some somebody near us is married to an American. Uh, but his her his wife comes back to the Philippines to see a boyfriend that she's known since her I think teens. They've been you, you imagine they've been he's been, she's been married to the American I don't know how many years at least twenty, but she still maintains her boyfriend in the Philippines. Bizarrely, bizarrely, um, but this is why I'm just going to say I'm not saying nothing. Links at the bottom. You want to take a trial or buy it. Um, it's up to you. Installing it's not difficult. I put it on here just to test it, and it works fine. And it was just tonight. I was just thinking about somebody else and they, them using this software. 
um, before, and I just thought I'll have a look at it because I've never seen it before. Because I don't, like I said, I don't need it. Um, it's got very little usage to me, and often, from my personal viewpoint, you don't want to know what people have got to say. <laughs> Because um, sometimes you you may end up biting yourself uh, with stuff that may or not have been a problem if you'd never heard it. So, hey-ho, it's up to you. All right, thanks for watching.